Hello everybody, this is your boy, the Almighty Green Titan, coming to you with a video. Well, as you can see before you, this is actually, um, this is actually Collective Finds Part 5. Collective Finds Part 5. Yeah, Part 5. Um, this, this is not actually a find, but it's more like a collection, but it could be considered a find because it's been almost a year since I ordered something from this company here, the Disney company, they're known as Comics Elite. They sell some, they sell more newer brand comics than older ones. They only have a few segments where they actually do, some, where they do actually do sell older comics. And in this, in this package here, I think it's either one or two comics. I'm not exactly sure. I want to say it's one. Um... I, like I said, I, I, I really don't want to go into specific detail because if I do, I'll be sitting here all day explaining what's actually in this particular letter size um, box. Like I said, come into the lead, name of this company. And like I said earlier in the video, it's been almost almost um, a year since I ordered anything from them because it got to a point now where buying newer comics don't make any sense anymore because it's, it's kind of like a new age thing where a lot of comic book companies or um artists actually they make um one book and then they and then they create several variants of books and some of the variants be hard to find and some you can buy outright depending depending on where where you get it from you, you can get it online or you can get them at your nearest comic book store at your nearest location but um newer comics have gone kind of like away or or a wall or better yet kind of loco for that matter what i mean by loco i mean is it's so many different covers out and it's all the same story just different covers and what i mean by different covers is it could be the same artist or a different artist drawn on drawing on different pages and it could be three between three to eight to ten variants of comics and so, so don't get me don't get me wrong some of them variants are, are, are not nice i mean they're very nice but so some, some of them very might cause your arm and a leg just to get that particular variant so sometimes i think it'd be best to just get the the regular edition the re regular cover you be better off buying that way, but, but 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 if you want to spend top dollars on a variant cover, go right ahead. Um, don't get me wrong, I don't bought several variants of covers, and I'm paid not that much of an arm and a leg for because sometimes I don't think it's worth it. But I have spent quite a bit of, of bucks on something that that they between hundred dollars or lower for variants. But you have some very out there that's 150 200 all the way up to about three, three, four hundred dollars for a variant cover it's so hard to find so hard to get you know what i'm saying so and and the and, and, and what makes it, it makes them even better if it's a new stand edition now if they new stand then you're pretty you're good to go but if it's the direct edition from the comic book company themselves then it might not be it may, it may not be that much expensive unless they are quickly off the shelf gone like that and they can't make that many more copies, so they always create second prints and third prints, all up to about eight or nine or ten prints of that of that particular book. And so sometimes, so sometimes the higher the prints, the, the the cheaper it is. Or sometimes it depends on if, if the prints are are different covers, then they then they might judge the price on them because of the fact that they they still gonna be kind of hard to collect or hard to find. So that's what I want to really want to explain. But like I said, and one of the reasons why I haven't bought anything from the company in so long because the new covers are are crazy. I mean, they're crazy wild, crazy good looking, sometimes crazy expensive, depending on your taste. So, down any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this package. I'm four minutes, four, I'm four minutes, thirty some seconds in the video. So I'm, I won't try to make it less than possible. So let's go ahead and go ahead and get right started. Like I said, this is coming to leak. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And like I said, I don't know how many books in here. I want to say it's one, but it could be two. Because I forgot what's in here. Um, sometimes I know, sometimes I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. 
There you go. There you go right there. And here with the package itself. Okay, it's two books. Have nothing in there. And, and, and as comments at least good old fashioned, they always wrap their comic books in these little thin foam protection while it's in, while it's in the box. Some companies use bubble wrap and some use the, 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 the real large air, the, the, the large air pocket bubbles in their, uh, in their packaging for protection. And here we go. Uh, like I said before, there it is. She said, come it's elite. Them right there. And here's the two books that I ordered. Like I said, it's been a long time since I ordered. One thing about Comments Elite, they always sell, they, they, they would give you a pending invoice on your package. And um, that, that, that's one thing about them that I do like. But like I said, I, I buy, I, I'm most into old comic books now. I don't know how I buy any of the new ones. The new ones, it, it, the new ones are dependent, they, they are dependent upon, if you know what I mean. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this. The two books here. That there. All uh, right, here we go. Oh yeah, now I remember. Um, this one here. Um, this one here is by Top Cow Comics. It's called um, e Evo Evo e e no Evo One. It's called Evo One Endgame. It's number three or three. Um, so there you see. Um, I bought this book because of the woman. Now, uh, I'm not exactly sure how new this book is. It looks kind of old to me. And, uh, like I said, I'm not exactly sure when this book came out. But it says three of three here. Then you also have number one here on this side. So I'm not exactly sure what it means by the one. Um, but it said, it said February. So I'm thinking this book, it came out last year or the year before. But, it, but it's a pretty old book. All I know is number three of three. So I'm not exactly sure about the other, other two copies. I have to find them and see what they are. But like I said, I bought this book because of the other woman. I, I didn't even lie. Um, cause, because I saw the, I saw this the week before I purchased it. And they and they actually ran out. So now I had a chance to get this copy here. This is actually the first print of this book. From according, according, according to the invoice itself. I think it's a first print. Um... Uh, yeah, and this book cost five bucks. So, so that you, so that you, so that you know right. Like I said, this, this woman, woman so fine. I mean, look at the body, look at that view. I mean, this is actually a beautiful book, and the woman is gorgeous. Okay, and last but not least, this book here. This is actually a book. This book is actually called Windows. It's a black cover. As you can see, it has a um. As you see, the light as light hits it, it gives you a a um a different color feel of the book it book is all black and it's called widow number one number one let's see get a look at it see if i can get them okay as you can see that right where you see the do number one you back can see it but it's a one right there it's called windows number one i'm not exactly sure how many covers how many copies of the particular book or how many how many um I don't know if it's a series or I don't know if it's a uh, a, a, a one shot, but all I know is it says number one. It, it doesn't tell me one of yada yada yada. I don't say. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Let me get a good look at this so I can see where it says number one. It says November. Uh, I can't see the date on that. Um, and by a comic book company called. Man, I really can't see that. I can't see it. Oh, it's okay. It said Mature Readers. Okay, so this is actually a book that has a lot of, um, maybe a lot, a lot of explicit language. Maybe some nudity. I don't know. But it does say Mature Readers at the bottom of it. So you got to really, really look into it to see what it actually say. And it's actually Windows number one. Like I said, um, it don't say what kind of, okay, C-O-L-T, Coat, Coat Comments. Coat Cummins. Okay. That's a new kind of comic book because it has a little ring. A little look like it looks like a look like a look like a little ring. Now really can't see what, what the ring says. But it has a little ring here on top that I really can't see. If that's a it's a it's an embryum, but I really can't see what it actually is because, because like I said, it's an all black book and you're gonna see it. But it does says coat 
at the bottom there, C O L T. You can barely barely can see it. Window two or window, I think it's window two, I believe. And it's Coke comes, and this book cost me five bucks. And uh, I can't wait to actually dig into it because, like I said, these are actually new books. Well, both of these books are new. You know what I'm saying? This 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 came out February. I'm not exactly sure what year. This came out. Uh, it doesn't say what date. I mean, what year this book is? Well, it don't say. It didn't give the date and and the uh, and the and, and the um and the other um date. I mean, I'm date. I mean the the price. Get the price range on top. And then it always has a price range, then it has a, uh, another price range for, for a different company. US, it has the US price and the Canada price. That's what, that's what that is. You better can see it because of the color, because of the color arrangements. You better can see it. But I love this book. It's why, it's really why I purchased this book because it's black and it has the, the different colors, the different color name there. I mean, beautiful rainbow colors there. And I bought this book because of the woman. So it don't even lie. So um, most books, that has a woman on it. Nine, nine times out of ten are pretty good books. So um I can only relate that to you guys. Um again, window two, number one, and Evo one. This is a E E V O and then R O O N E. So it's Evo One in game. Three of three. I might I might have to collect the other two books. To get a specific detail of it, but I'm gonna look at it anyway because I want to see what, what these books are actually are. So um, I'm gonna go ahead in the video with a comment that you guys can do for me. Um, comment, like, share, subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up for the video. Comment below, and most importantly, let people know of, of my videos out there. Like I said, I do eagle content. Um, I do comic book content like what I'm doing now, and I do unboxing and unraveling. I'm un rapping. Un un so I got some more comic books coming along the way. Uh, like I said, this is Collector's Fine number five. You guys enjoy your Tuesday. I mean, you're not sorry. Enjoy your Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? No. T yeah, day. I'm sorry. Day is Tuesday. I'm sorry. Day is Tuesday. You guys enjoy your Tuesday. Um. Enjoy your tune tonight. I'm just gonna enjoy mine. I'm going over 12 minutes and 30 some minutes in the video, so I'm gonna go in it right quick. I don't know why I did did what I did. I wanted to make, I wanted to make the video under 10 minutes, but it gone over 10 minutes. So other than that, good night. Comment below. Thumbs up. Notification bell on top. Peace. I'm out.